Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another MLB 21 Diamond Dynasty video. Today it is Mother's Day, so make sure you let um, your moms, grandmas, aunts, and every woman in your family who has had a child know that they are loved. Now, I say Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, but not a single mom watches my video. No shocker there. Now today, we're going to talk about the monthly rewards awards section and it kind of sucks this year i'm gonna be honest it's a little more different than last year not necessarily a fan now first we're going to talk about the players then we'll talk about how to get them my favorite player out of this entire set cedric mullins if you don't know i'm a baltimore orioles fan and my man has been on fire i thought they could have gave him a little bit better contact that's I mean, he led the MLB in hits for 34 if you read his card, including an 11-game hit streak, which is the longest in the majors this year. He's got really good contact. 125 lefty on lefty. Also has 79 against the right-handers. Power 65 and 51. That's, you know, eh. I think he had about four or five home runs. Four. It says right there on the card. But, eh, could have seen the average a little higher. I mean, 337, four home runs, nine RBIs from your outfielder. Really could have seen a better thing. Probably should have been in one of the higher slots for the monthly awards. Um, but he still gets a card, so good for us, I guess. He's got decent vision and discipline. His fielding is good, and so is his speed. I was going to say, I doubt anybody's got any good... Uh, parallels for him and you can only get him within the program not too bad now this Danny Duffy card is uh, in that 84 overall slot and he had a solid month as well he's a soft tossing pitcher is a starter that lefty again you got another lefty starting here he's got a four seam slider change up two seam in curve I really like a slider in his change from doing some missions with him and you've seen a few people use this card and it's all right it's certainly not the best but he could be a solid um, back end kind of the guy early in the year and can certainly do well against um, you know either the CPU or the players we move into the next one we finally hit our diamond stage and a good card here Nick Solak He's a second baseman who can play first, third, left, center, and right. Now, he doesn't necessarily field well at all of those positions as I drop my controller, but he's got 76 speed, so he can definitely roam that outfield and at least the middle parts of the infield well. He's good, good hitting stats, 92 and 101 against lefties, 83 and 93 against righties. That's really good. Not the best vision at 46, 44 discipline. And again, we talked about the fielding and speed. This is a solid card. Nothing wrong with that. And, uh, you know, he's got a few quirks. Nothing crazy there, but a solid card. And another solid card here. Matt Barnes, 88. Now, I really like this card. He can throw that four-seamer. Gets out at around 96. I think he can throw a little harder than that. But he's got a really good knuckle curve. And it's a hard knuckle curve there at 85. Most curveballs are 78 and lower, so he throws that thing hard. And then the 88 splitter is also an above average for the speed. 106 hits per nine, 106 Ks per nine now. He's not going to hit the ball for you, but that's not why you need him. He's got really good break, solid velocity, and decent control. This is definitely a guy that you can put in your bullpen and kind of ride with. Um throughout the year maybe he's your closer now and then slowly fades out into maybe a you know sixth fifth sixth any kind of guy maybe your starter doesn't go deep or maybe um you wanted to get a pinch hitter in he doesn't really have great stamina to go multiple innings but it's definitely a solid reliever and a nice righty to begin the year now the Shohei Otani it sucks because he's not you can't pitch with him I think they they kind of fumbled the bag there um, not great against lefties with that 50 contact, but against righties, 85 and 103 certainly smashes. He does have 95 power against lefties. His vision and discipline are a below average, but he's got good fielding and good arm strength there at left. He can also play center and right. He's got 86 speed, so, um, obviously it sucks because he can 
throw and throw really hard, but this is just a solid outfielder card in general. You know, I like to see the parallels. I like to see how other people are liking him. You're seeing a lot of people in this orange tier right here, but still haven't moved up. He's a solid card. He can definitely sit on your bench for a while um, against uh, righties as a lefty bat. Um, I was talking to one of my friends last night, Logan, as you, you all know. But, um, you know, the way I set my, the way I like to set my benches, you have two players who hit good against right-handed pitchers, one being a left bat, one being a right bat. Same thing against lefties, one right, one left, and like a catcher or a speed guy. And some people kind of question on why that might be. And some people, like, uh, you know, if I've got a right-handed pitcher but he's got a cutter, I don't want to throw a lefty batter up there because personally I destroy lefties when I have a cutter. Um, so it's certain like that, but Justin Turner is certainly a good hitter and can hit against both sides of the plate. 112 and 94 against righties, that's really good. 96 and 82 against lefties, so you can put, you put Turner and uh, Otani on the bench if you can't find a spot. You can definitely platoon those guys against right-handed pitchers, and of course, you know, you're going to see multiple righties throughout a game. Maybe somebody's got a few good lefties, so... He's got decent, he's got all right vision, enough to get the job done. He's got good discipline, so it might be able to help you out on some check swings. He plays all right in the field, not the best, but, um, and then the speed's not desirable, but definitely a solid card, and um, it's nice. Vlad Guerrero, really good against righties, another guy you can throw in there, 82 and 74 against lefties. And then he's got decent vision, the best out of us, out of everyone we've seen. Really high discipline, and then good, uh, not good fielding and not good speed. Hey, buddy. Come in here. Carter. Yeah, Carter's in there. Leave him alone. Can you shut my door? No. Yeah, shut no. Door. Can you shut my door, please? Corbin Burns is the next pitcher. Uh, haven't seen one in a little bit. And he's got a nice selection of pitches here. Sinker, cutter, slider, change, and curveball. Somebody might say, I didn't have a four seam, but you certainly don't need a four seam. That sinker, cutter combo, both at 95 miles per hour, is really good. Obviously, if you don't know, some of the best pitchers in the game have, a, at least in MLB The Show, um, sinker cutter combo the cutter is going to go one way sinker is going to dive back the other way and then he has three all speed pitches he's a slider and a curveball that you can kind of tunnel um, and make them look like the same pitches and then you've got a change up you can drop out of the zone this is a really good pitcher I highly recommend him this is a card you'll probably see for a long time um, you know at least for another month I'd say he's in a lot of rotation. 99 velocity, 97 break. This is a damn good card right here. Parallels. And yeah, you can see 33 uh, Super Fractor. Um, I can go over that if you guys need to. But I mean, if you're looking at that, you can definitely tell that people like this card. And he's a good one. But the best card, Byron Buxton. Now, his hitting stats don't jump off the page as some of the p people you've already seen. 83 and 90. Four against righties, 95, 85 against lefties. So he's solid against both sides. 64, vision, that's all right. Discipline's not the best. Clutch is okay for whatever it's worth. But here's where this card, you know, is really good and can definitely hang out in your ball club for a while. 99 fielding, 86 arm, 81 accuracy, 99 reaction, 99 speed, 79 steal. So what does that mean? You're looking at the three big stats here. Or, I think, yeah, three. Field reaction speed, okay? And you could throw arm strength in there. But what this card does is not only, cause it, not only can it hit well, but it can also help hide some of your corner outfielders that might not be as good. Somebody like a J.D. Martinez or a Babe Ruth out in left or right. Being able to put Byron Buxton out here can help save a few 
balls hit to the gaps and kind of help those guys and help you have sluggers on those corner outfield spots. Let's see what the super, the parallels are looking here. Not many people have gotten him just yet, but he's definitely worth it, I would say. Now, there's certainly some other good stuff in here. Got definitely a ton of tops now packs, which is going to help you do your collections. Now, this kind of sucks. You got to do all your, you got to pretty much do all your moments, all um, collections, and you've got to do a good chunk of these missions. Now, these little four ones you don't have to do online, but then these ten ones you do have to do online. The hits, I mean, this is all tops now serious, so they're not necessarily bad. Pitchers, you can definitely get those strikeouts. You might be able to find somebody who isn't the best. And remember, you don't want to ruin your rank seasons. That's fine. Go pitch in events. I think I'm sure there's a Tops Now event. Let's go see. I mean, I would figure that they would make Tops Now be in it, but uh, thanks. I got Dylan Cease. Cool. Let's see. Now are they not going to? Are they really not going to do Tops Now pitchers? That's stupid. Oh, well, that makes me look dumb, and that really doesn't make sense. Oh, you're not going to be able to do events. So, you can also do a Battle Royale, which is what I like to do. Um, but, that's going to wrap up the video. Uh, it kind of went on. Uh, I might cut that part out where Grayson walks in, but honestly, screw it. We might just keep it in. It was kind of cute. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. There's the team at the moment, um, for those who care and stay interested. And then there's the rotation. I'll see you guys soon.